Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel, Kelly from House of Virgo. Let's get into this reading. Please smash that like button and subscribe. All right, let's see what the messages are for you for the rest of August going into September. Happy birthday coming up for you August birthdays, my August Virgos. All right, let's get, let's see what's going on here. Virgo, sun, moon, okay, wow. So you guys a whole bunch, right? <laughs> Might as well just take them. Oop, 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 oop. All right, so you have the Phoenix, keys on a ring, camera, ascension, addiction, and the butterfly. Okay. All right, Virgo. So there's definitely some type of a relationship that could be evolving to the next phase. Um, you do have healing the inner child, so you might be working on some inner closure stuff or just some growth at this time in your life, right? Um, could be a relationship with yourself that's evolving to the next phase where you're spending more time with yourself, nurturing yourself, that kind of energy that could be um, also maybe an addiction or you're uh, breaking some kind of codependency in a relationship or within yourself. Um, there might be a block or a restraint that's happening at this time as well that you're trying to just, you're either punching through a block or you're just going around a different way, <laughs> taking a different route. There might, you might be like, you know, going down the road and then all of a sudden there's a blockage and you're like, oh, I got to waste my energy trying to get through that block. Let me just, I'll take a different route, different path. You got the Phoenix, right? So there's definitely a new phase happening in your life here. Okay. Definitely. It's good. There's transformation. You have a changed mind. So you're changing your mind about a lot of things. You're renewing something as well. You have many options, uh, decisions, um, you might be deciding you're just not going to take on any kind of one night stands or string along behavior from anybody. You're ascending Virgo, transcending obstacles, learning, definitely so much new phase energy. And you do have someone here who's watching you, right? Someone is, um, they have you as a keepsake. They're reminiscing. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I just had so much, um, carbonated drink. I'm like, ah, I'm burping. <laughs> All right, let's get into this and see. Let me move my camera a little bit here so I can get my shuffle in. Okay. So yeah, there's some kind of cutoff or something that's ended. Uh, there's a shutdown, shut off kind of a situation here and a walking away. Okay. In September as well, manifesting a new beginning, some new dreams, some new stuff for yourself, right? Um, and a huge wake up call happening here in um, from the time you listen to this, right? And I'm just going to say September, right? Because it's going to go for the rest of, well, there is still another week of August left, but from now going into September, right? There might be some kind of um, reconciliation that's happening as well. Okay. Wheel of Fortune is here. So there's some new change and things are changing. There's a relationship here. Um, that's going to start moving forward or as you move forward there is a connection that gets made here something that you might just be thinking about you're not going to rush into it is this the one is this not the one is this you know what i mean you might be a little hesitant to kind of get into a relationship you might not be though you might just be like you know let me take this slow okay but i do see like two of cups and lovers as far as love goes a relationship is very positive it's a very positive energy now let's look at this reconciliation all right so there is someone that is going to try to have a new start with you and they're going to make some kind of lifestyle change um they're going to come in really quick right this person is going to come in and try to have like i want to say like um some growth with you right seeds are planted already with you and this person right so this is going to be an energy of somebody like coming in really fast you're going to hear from somebody in september now i will tell you could be a gemini could be a scorpio could be taurus aquarius it could be a leo okay yeah so this person okay so i feel like i feel like this person is um been trying to make a decision, make up their mind. I feel like this person made some kind of decision um, to get, they got schooled on something. This person got schooled. That's what I'm hearing. Um, and they might have been on the fence about commitment or marriage and that kind of thing. And it looks like they're coming in to, you know, have like some kind of new beginning. The Ace of, Ace of Wands here. This is like having some kind of growth. Um, the torch is being lit. There's, there's a lot of passion. This person is very passionate about you. Okay. The two of swords. 
Okay. Um, so this person, there was a lot of like breadcrumbing with this person. And it feels like they're not going to do that anymore. They're not bread. There's a lot of healing. I feel like this person is going through some kind of star moment, right? They've renewed something within themselves, or they're going to try to renew something with you and have a new start, right? Um, I don't know, Virgo, I kind of feel like even with somebody new coming in, I don't feel it. I feel like you're open to it, but I definitely feel like you're not rushing into anything with somebody new or like any kind of new relationship or people that you meet, right? You're not, I feel like you're not rushing into anything. I don't know if you're gonna, yeah, something's ended with someone from your past. There was just kind of like maybe a sense of betrayal or a sense of backstabbing. Somebody, this person, whoever your past person is, it's coming in to try to reconcile, um, or where there might've been some kind of block of some sort between you guys, like you couldn't figure things out. Um, it looks like they have at, at least, I want to say they're doing a lot of soul searching and a lot of healing. Um, this person might have been very selfish and they're being a bit more, they're being less selfish. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at you. So you're in hermit mode, right? I feel like you're sticking real close to only the people that um, influence you in a positive way, it looks like, in September, right? You might have, like I said, this. you might be... Uh, keeping your birthday quiet not telling anybody about your birthday <laughs> or just keeping it on like the down low so to speak just spending your birthday with um like in august and september uh people that i want to say are like just very supportive of you your soul tribe it could be family members or friends or whomever right there's definitely gonna be a party <laughs> but it feels like it's kind of a small intimate little party not like a, a big huge bash you're definitely going to be getting some gifts. <clears throat> okay. But I, I, I kind of feel like it's not really important to you. I feel like what's important to you is like what's what's over the rainbow is what I'm seeing. Like, you know, I don't know. You might be waiting, though. I do feel like you might be waiting for someone. You might be waiting to see if someone in particular is going to reach out to you for your birthday. Let's see. Hmm. Yep, definitely. I, I feel like whomever it is that you haven't heard from, um, now whether that's this is like a family member or an ex or a friend, um, I do feel like there's going to be some new communication. It might even be like a birthday wish of, or um, something like a kindness, like a card or something like that. But um, I feel like whoever's they're telling you whoever's reaching out to you for your for your birthday is they're really they're struggling right this person feels really lost um they feel really lost um now this is weird i'm just getting this strange message like this person feels like um they're so the, why they're reaching out to you is because they're really like i don't want to say stuck on you i don't feel like it's that but it feels like they want to heal some kind of struggle that's occurred in your relationship. Okay. They want to heal some kind of... Because that five of pentacles is like someone who feels abandoned or left out in the cold. like Or standing way too far away from the warmth, the heat of the fire. You know what I mean? There's like a coldness, a cold energy. I feel like you both... I don't know why. I just get a sense that you and whoever, you're, whoever this person is that will be reaching out to you. Like you were both... The relationship is very cold for both of you. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, whoever it is, like this person. I feel like you've got a past. As you're healing, as you're moving on, getting away from, it could have been a toxic relationship. You might still be healing, so you're not really trying to rush into anything. I do see you being open and accepting dates in September, or now through September, and going out with other people and being happy and keeping your options open. I do feel like you're in that place, but there is somebody else here. And when I say your past, um, I feel like this is from a really long time ago, okay? But I will say that whoever this your person is here, they're definitely coming out of this comfort zone where they were, were very silent. They, this person, I feel like, keeps to themselves as a way of protection like they don't say anything they don't they don't share their deepest innermost like things going on with them 
So, yeah, there's definitely an energy of change. This person's going to come out in the open because, like, I feel like they're, like, the past person is going to use your birthday as an excuse to talk to you, okay? And then when <laughs> once the floodgates open, I feel like they're going to just start spouting everything out and sharing everything. It's going to be really quick. A lot of messages, a lot of communication. I feel like they're going to be very happy if, um, you know, you reply to them as like a thank you or something like that. For them, it feels like it means everything to them that you would even just reply, right? Because, yeah, there's somebody here who's really sad. They're really grieving. They're feeling this loss. Here's my birthday card. There you go. Yeah, this person is very, like, they're stressing, Okay, so uh, like I said, there's definitely going to be some new communication, but I feel like it's going to start sometime on your birthday. I mean, it could be all the way in the end of September, but it's definitely going to be like um, a happy birthday. How have you been? And if you reply to this person, they're just going to be through the through the moon. Okay. I don't know who's calling me. How do you sh like, hold on, you guys. I get so many of these calls. I get so many random calls. Let me see. Tell Virgo a little bit about this. Uh, this new connection that Virgo's going to make. You can make a new connection with someone while you're traveling. Let's take a look. This new connection. Oh, my cards are upside down. Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to take them that way. Okay. So, yeah, Five of Swords in the reverse. You know, I don't usually do reversals, but today I feel like doing them. And I'm going to start here where... <laughs> So he's telling me a, a, a bar fight. Well, I'm just hearing a bar fight. What the? Okay, I don't know if you're going to meet someone. You can, can have your dukes up, get in a fight with somebody, and then it's love at first sight after the bar fight. Um, no, this is that. So some of you are going to meet this person. Like, uh, they're just all right. So I'm just going to tell you what share what I'm what I'm seeing here. So when I say bar fight, I mean it could be, but. I'm also seeing like two people like being in, I don't know, like a, a place where they serve drinks and there's games, right? And and there's like this competition, like pool, people playing pool or, you know, some kind of sport or some kind of game place or something and, and meeting there. Okay, so that, that that's just what they're showing me. Okay. Um, yeah, but it's it's surrounded... It's, it's surrounded where, okay, two things, where there's like activity or some kind of bar or an outing of some sort. But I'm also seeing um, you catch this person's eye, right? And they're going to tell you this. If you, you know, when you, if you meet up with them or talk to them, they're going to say, you just caught my eye from the moment, I, the moment I saw you. I don't know, with all these other people in the room, you just, something about you just caught my attention. You caught my eye. All right, fire sign. Okay, so Leo Sag Aries definitely showing up. Okay, that's that's gonna be the new. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I've been waiting. <laughs> oh my gosh, this person is like so romantic, like such a flirt. That's what I want to say. Very flirtatious. I've, I I you caught my eye, and I've just been I waited just to go up to talk to you because you're just you really um, just your aura is incredible. Like you're glowing. There's something about you that this person, like, I've been waiting for someone like you my whole life. Oh, my gosh. They are, oh, my God. There's a Nine of Swords. <laughs> they were very nervous. So they're very nervous to approach you, or they're going to be very nervous to approach you. But they're going to do it because they're coming in with this fire energy and fire, you know, if it's a Leo or Aries or, you know, Sag, they just, they're generally not, they're generally fearless fearless yeah so it's a, a strong fearless energy but something about you gets them a little bit like ooh, they get a little nervous <laughs> of course they do you're a Virgo what are you gonna do okay yeah see here you go there's a little bit of competition so it's gonna be like during some kind of game you could be like a, a in the a spectator in a game and someone you sit near or something like that <laughs> if you go to like I don't know depending where you are in the world, most of my viewers are in the U.S., so it could be like a baseball game, basketball game, football game, whatever, soccer, whatever. If you're outside of the U.S., whatever your sports are out there, right, football in, in Europe and all that, but in everywhere else, of course, but it's some kind of, 
like I said, a fight, something to do with a fight. It could be like a boxing match or I don't know, anything. It could be anything. But there's a connection, yes. Okay. It could be on the train, on a plane, on a bus, in a car, somewhere on the way to something. Okay, but it's gonna, like, it has the potential to progress. This is a good thing, right? But I feel like it's kind of you. Look, it definitely has, whoever this person is, there's a potential to progress to, like, a full-on traditional relationship, right? Very nice, very nice. No lies, no bullshit. Someone's very, um, they're, like, they follow the rules. So I don't know what that means. They're, like, uh, what's the word? They're very stable. They feel very stable. They're not rebellious or anything like that, right? So... Um, yeah, uh, I mean, come on, right? So, but I did see that you were kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of in between. However, I don't see you saying no to this new person. I just kind of feel like your, your whole thing, yeah, like you don't want to be single anymore, that's for sure. Okay, you don't want to be single but your whole thing you also don't want to be dependent on anyone okay you don't want that but i kind of feel like there's an energy of like um you can rest in a particular relationship right <laughs> some of you might be dealing with like some weight gain or feeling a bit lazy uh, maybe you have a um you might be looking for quick results when it comes to um, getting healthy or working out. Uh, so for some of you, there might be this, like, let me just hesitate because you're trying to get your body in a particular way or trying to get your money in a particular way or trying to gain more stability. You might be, like, struggling for that, not putting relationships on the, on the front burner right now in your life, which is fine. You do what you have to do, especially if you had something else that just you know, whatever didn't work out and you're kind of, I feel like you're trying to do something the right way. But I don't see you saying no. I don't. I don't, I don't feel like you're going to just be like, you might get a birthday. Um, to your, so you're getting like, it looks like two birth, two birthdays. You could be getting more, uh, a birthday wish or something from this person. Maybe you might already know them. You might just be friends with them or you might already know this person. Like I said, though, but I mean, I don't feel like you're going to be like, nah, I don't want it, you know, blocking them with garlic and a steak, you know, and a cross, nah, because I don't think you're so far, you don't have the pendulum swung so far to the opposite side that you're never going to be in a relationship or you're never going to try or you're never going to be open to receive. I feel like you are, but I, I don't see you... Right, so I just saw the Four of Wands, which does give me a sense of being just a little bit indifferent. Like you're not, you're just going to kind of tiptoe, right? And But I feel like whoever this person is, you if you give them a chance, this new person that you connect with, you give them a chance, I feel like it can actually go somewhere. I really do. And you, you get an opportunity like to, you know, open yourself are, uh, up. Yeah, so the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, this is a lucky break. You're getting a lucky break. <laughs> Should that be like lucky in love? You're going to be lucky in love. That's what I feel like <laughs> the energy is. No matter what way, it's like a win-win for you. That's what I feel. It's a win-win. You know, you got someone from your past who's regretting, and they're going to try and come back. I don't know if you want that person back or not. You might not. You might just be like, no, nah, an avocado, thanks. Um, but others of you might be like, I don't know, you'll have to see. It's hard to say. But I know that you're not rushing into anything anywhere. All right, let's see what you're... Yeah, so you got self-care. This is your energy right now, okay? And you could still self-care. Now, it doesn't mean like when you meet somebody, then you stop self-caring. No, this should be, should be the daily. This is the self-care is the daily grind. That's That should be implemented <laughs> into part of your, your going to work every day because you're getting money, right? Your self-care brings you rewards as well. Just not... I mean, it could be money rewards. Like some of you could be challenging yourselves to certain things and, you know, putting 10 bucks in the money jar or a dollar, whatever, and to as a part of saving, you know what I mean? So that to reach your goals, you know, like every day you do something, reward yourself. Clearing your energy field and focusing on yourself before acting. 
that's what I feel like you're, you're really doing here, which is good. So you're making yourself a priority and you should make yourself a priority, even if you're in other relationships, but not at the expense of another person, right? You can be in a healthy relationship, prioritize the relationship and yourself at the same time. All right, you've got acceptance. So coming to a time here during the next month where everything you feel like everything is happening for a reason that maybe not knowing what the reason is specifically, but accepting that obviously you'll find out and figure it out, right? So you seek instability. And there is a relationship here that can stand the test of time. Okay, financial challenges. This is something that some of you are working on at this time, trying to get yourself in a good financial place, which is fine. All right, you're safe and divinely guided. You are protected, Virgo. Right, and integrity. This is a question you could be looking at now and saying, does this situation, this person align with my values and morals? Maybe you didn't do that in the past. That might have been part of some kind of trauma um, in past relationships where, you know, we won't get too psych deep here, but you might not have, you might have overlooked things in a past relationship or the past relationships, however many you had. Something's different about you now. I'm, I'm sensing something is different. You know, now you're you're sitting on the throne now where you can choose. Now there's no desperation. There's no like, you know, I'm fine with or without anybody. This is great. This is a very good positive thing. It's not that you're being avoidant. It's not that you're attaching too hard. You're just being still and asking yourself all the right questions and are going to put those questions forward with someone that you connect with, you know, a part like, sure, maybe you'll have a spark. Maybe there'll be chemistry. But the question is... Do, are we on the same page? Do we have the same values? Do we have the same morals? You know, like you could date somebody who's like, okay with having um, all of their friends are the opposite sex. And for you, you might be like, no, I, 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 I don't have a lot of guy friends. I keep mostly female friends, right? I'm just using an example. These would be two people who are not really on the same page, right? Um, I don't know why that example came up, but that just came up. Um, you might uh, you might be someone who values communication and the other person does not value communication or they speak very little. So that might not be, you know what I mean? Like, it's, so it's kind of being like, okay, like let's say the chemistry is there and there's an attraction, but are we... Are we of this, you know, are, are we of the same, are we... It, so there's a term, it's called, um, are we equally yoked? Which is very important, being equally yoked. If you don't know what that term is, you can Google that. Um, it, it is, it, I believe it does come from like a, like a biblical, it's a biblical term, but it just means like equally yoked. We don't have to be exactly the same, but we come from similar values and morals and beliefs. That's so much more important in a relationship, I think, than anything. Okay, so yeah, there you go, Virgo. You have a new chapter. Look back on the past one one, uh, one more time, if you must, but only to help write the next new pages of your book. Travel, explore the world, space, the seas, the psych, learn, meet new people, live your best life, and allow the past to cycle out. A new journey is ahead. Take someone with you or do it alone, but just go. So this is awesome. You do have a new chapter. That's the world right there. I feel like Virgo, you're you're going through a major transition this time in your life, right? And we're still going through that Mercury retrograde, which I think it ends. Is it August 28th? It ends. I'm not 100% sure, but it will be going direct soon. Okay. All right, you got a bossy male showing up, or you're bossing, you're bossing up. You're taking on a, a very bossy kind of. <clears throat> you're being a bossy character bossy cat <laughs> that's a leo you do have a message from an admirer coming up um and it does feel like a birthday thing and we already saw that actually you had two thus far could be more but that's definitely coming up and you also have um strength you can do this virgo whatever it is you can do it you have the courage and strength to withstand any situation start by looking Start by soothing the beast and go with kindness. It's your strongest attribute you'll ever have. Fight back by not fighting, 
pull your courage up from the ground and hold steady. You are a winner. Like I was saying, Virgo, this is like a win-win for you. I don't know how. I'm not 100% sure why. I just know the energy is something's definitely going to get better. All right, let's take a look. We're just going to look at your Chinese signs. Somebody left me a comment on my channel that said, stop doing Chinese signs. Um, do you guys think I should stop doing the Chinese signs? Just kidding. I don't give an F. Whoever that person is can F off. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, let's see. Year of the snake. Year of the rat. Year of the dog. Year of the dragon. Year of the monkey. Year of the pig. Year of the tiger. And year of the rabbit. Now, if your Chinese sign is not called out, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay? Keep that in mind. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, I just want to get... Let me just get a couple more messages for you here. All right. So you have the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Financial security for yourself and your family. An inheritance or retirement is money coming in for you. Peace and contentment in life for you to look forward to. Honoring your family and traditions. Pride in the family tree. Passing on knowledge. Okay. Oh, you have the Six of Cups. Children or childhood will be significant. Revisiting old dreams or plans. Embracing your inner child. The return of people or romances from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. Yeah, do you feel like you have somebody here who is romanticizing how a relationship used to be? Um, whether that's a friend or a family member. It's This is kind of like sincerity, forgiveness. This is kind of like forgetting about all the negative Unless it was severely traumatic. <laughs> like if it was severely traumatic, unfortunately, people don't forget that, right? Unless the person who, it, there might be one, some of you having a hard time. You might be very, e you might forgive very easily if you're someone who isn't a grudge holder. Forgiveness is good, but I don't always think forgiveness is good for people who are um, codependent. I don't. Um, I think that if you have a very secure, you know, I talk about the attachment styles. I feel like if you've got a very secure attachment, um, I think forgiveness is, it, you know, it's okay because you're secure enough to let that go and it doesn't affect you anymore. But but secure people who have secure attachments aren't generally going to, uh, they're going to call a spade a spade right away and not go down the whole rabbit hole of abuse. Not every one of them, but most majority. So I feel like forgiveness is going to depend you know, and it's really going to depend on you because if you are codependent or you've been in some kind of abusive relationship and you struggle with seeing that, forgiving is not, that's just going to keep you in it. So some of you, fine, do what you have to do. Um, and the rest of you also the same. If you're able to forgive somebody and move on, that's fine. But if you, if you forgive and it, that keeps you stuck, then I don't think, I think you need to get healthy first. I think you get, you need to get healthy because I don't think God ever said forgive the devil. <laughs> I don't think he ever said that. No, I do not think so. All right, so there's that. And what else? Okay. So you have working too hard or too many hours, Virgo. You need balance in your life. Let others help you. You could have some health problems due to stress. Find some balance. I feel like balance is best when you just do a little bit of everything each day. All right, some of you getting a counselor, or you're seeking wisdom from someone um, who can help you with something. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Now look, look at those symbols. There's a lot of different religious symbols there. Okay, so some of you might be exploring your spirituality at this time. This does feel like it's the high priestess. So um, some of you are on a quiet, uh, a quiet quest, trying to even maybe figure out what you believe or what's important to you or, you know, what your, where your morals and values are. Definitely checking that out. Oh, they just said, um, for anyone, I thought somebody asked me what this deck was. And this is uh, Amira's Love Oracle. Amira was a tarot reader here on YouTube. I don't know if she's still around. 
um, I got this deck from her many, many moons ago. So she sold this. This was this is her deck that she sells. Um, yeah, I don't know if she's still on YouTube. This, this was like almost 10 years ago, maybe. I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is her deck. I don't. It's gold lined. It's really pretty, but I don't. I don't use it all that much. But lately, I've been. So let's just see. Anything else that Virgo needs to know? Okay, you have a fair male lighter than darker or that is you okay fair male is going to be significant during this time period okay true gem valuable quality jewelry okay jewelry is going to be significant or it's just you <laughs> you being showing up as a true gem okay you also have a courting man could be you someone in uniform or a professional male this could be you or uh courting someone or you could be courted by uh this hunk of burn in love <laughs> kind of looks like um looks like an actor can't remember his name i, I might like i said uh, also mature woman socialite connector high society okay very significant this month anything else oh look friendship friends acquaintances and networking very important hanging out with your buddies the friendship being very important and also travel vacation honeymoon enjoyment so definitely um, someone flying in or someone flying out palm tree could be somewhere tropical but yes, very significant. These things are very significant or will be for you in the end of August through September. Right, let's see. Okay, so we have Gemini, Libra, Libra, Aries showing up. All right, September 12th, September 6th, the 10th, 1985. Someone is 40, someone is 55. Hey, and if your birthday's coming up, you could be turning 40 or turning 55. We have the initial L. All right, 78, 1978. We have the initial A, initial Y. Oops, well, that was Y. It turned to an X. So uh, someone's eating Lay's chips. Someone has me having a layover, L-E-X. Uh, could be airport. And then we have LAN. Uh, Lan Lance, maybe some of them could be Lance or Laney. Okay, August 28th. All right, we've got age 46. We have the letter B. Um, how do we have 55 twice? All right, 55 again. That's crazy. And L again, August 31st. Someone's 34. The letter X, could be an X showing up. We have the letter P, we also had the letter R. September 13th, there you go. We have 88, so it would be 1988. Someone's 61 or born in 61. We have the initial C. We have 71, age or year. Uh, we have the 21st and the 23rd and I'm doing that on purpose because my birthday is on the 23rd and Persephone and anybody else here have an August birthday we have the 24th also leave a comment or in the chat we have the initial A someone's in Atlantic City uh, someone's learning AI this time or the initial I uh, let's see yep okay all right let's get some charms I'm gonna get these out of the way Get your charms here. Oh, Ooh, I closed all my rings today. Holla. Okay, we have a fish tail, like a whale tail. So that's significant for someone. Fish tail. Can you see? Or maybe you'll see some whales if you're out whale watching. Oh, that looks like a whale tail. Not. It could be a fish tail. Maybe that's the name of a place, fishtail. Now, at first I, I saw this and I thought Bermuda Triangle, but that's a square. So, <laughs> blue diamond, somebody's eating nuts. They just said blue diamond. 
Somebody could be eating nuts or blue diamond almonds or something. Um, somebody's got uh, putting ice cubes in their drink. I'm also hearing. And uh, yeah, there's something. So blue. Oh, okay. They just said blue eyeliner. Somebody's wearing blue eyeliner. Okay, you also have a seashell. I feel like a clam. Maybe somebody's having some clam, oyster, oyster clam soup or something, or having clams, eating clams. Uh, very, very like whale tail and clams. There's something here with the beach. Definitely some connection to the beach. Um, the end of the summer. It could be going somewhere at the end of the summer. Um, or in the beginning of September when all the deals, <laughs> you know, all the deals happen. Like, um, could be an Airbnb or going somewhere in September. Like, once the summer closes, everybody, people still go to the beach. You just don't have, like, you know, lifeguards and, and all that stuff. But, like, when the summer ends, I think it's, like, when it's Labor Day. And then some people go and then they rent out, you know, like a week down at a beach where it's like way cheaper do you know what i mean so there might be that like there could be plans of some sort happening okay i think like that's going to be it so you guys right so i've up i up the tier for the membership so if you want to become a member of my channel you have two options you can be a membership you can be a member for 2.99 the loyalty membership where you just get cool badges and emojis and you get a little check next to your name um cool stuff and some shout outs but if you want to become a member for the vip that's 9.99 per month but you'll get access to members only videos like these but not exactly like these better um, and they will only be available to members okay so i'm going to upload some of the members only videos so in order to watch those you have to join the channel if you wish okay um, and that's exclusive only to members not to the loyalty right not to the loyal loyalty membership that's just you just want to support the channel but this is if you want to get these extra videos some of them i might even go live where we can go in and have a chat one-on-one -on -one, do readings that stuff so if you want to join go ahead and join check that out here on my channel click the join button and that'll give you the two options all right you guys so thank you for being here let me just make sure real quick i want to give a shout out to hold on a minute <laughs> This is too funny. Stuff is funny to me. Like I, I like I can't even explain. I I get such surprises, but I'm just always laughing lately. I don't know why. I'm I just have like such a goofy mood lately. Um. All right, Glenda. Oh, hey, Glenda. Welcome back. Inland Empire. Er, area Area D Matthews. Welcome to the loyalty membership. Sapphire. Zoe Coleman. Dorothy Kirby, welcome everyone to the loyalty membership. Again, go and check out the other membership if you're interested in joining that. You'll get your badges, everything. So if you become a VIP member, you'll get access to all the members only videos. Not what I, not like this, what I put up here for the subscribers. This is like only for members. But you'll also get everything that's in tier one as well. So you'll get your badges, shout outs, emojis, all that stuff as well. All right, you guys, I'm rambling. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one